Um, You're obviously very privileged to have had the opportunity to play in two World Cups so far. Uh, now for the third World Cup to be in our own country. Um, it's going to be an amazing event and, and one that hopefully uh, some of us older fellows will be able to manage to get through and, and play, uh, play a significant part in. Yeah, with the Rugby World Cup being here and obviously the success of the All Blacks as well um, and what that did for the country and, and how I guess everyone in the country got right and behind both the All Blacks and also also the World Cup in general um, was, was magnificent and if, I guess the hopes for us as a team um, are to, to go out there and try and replicate what they did um, during that Rugby World Cup um, whilst we certainly won't go in with the same favourites tag that they went in um, we may just be able to surprise a few if we, uh, if we have our game in order leading into that World Cup. No, no problem sharing it with Australia. Um, obviously, um, both both countries are uh, both very proud sporting nations, but standing alone. But I think at times as well, when when they do stand together, they can host some good events. So certainly, no problems holding uh, hosting the World Cup with Australia as well. Um, I, I'm anticipating that um, people that come here for the World Cup will will not just enjoy some obviously some high scoring games with the nature of our pitches and our smaller grounds but also think they'll enjoy the hospitality and and the uh, the tourism sector just like um, I guess during the Rugby World Cup as well and there's plenty of great places to travel New Zealand and, and to experience and uh, obviously some some magnificent wineries and mountains and golf courses and the like so I think not only will it be a great World Cup on the field but it's got the potential to be a great World Cup off it as well. You've been a part of World Cup, so as I said before, I've been lucky enough to have played in two of them so far. They bring a, a, a real different challenge about them. Um, obviously the, the constant pressure of playing in must-win games right throughout the tournament. And you know that the international um, scene, well sorry, the stage that's set um, and the eyes that are cast over the World Cup are, are so significant in comparison to, I guess, na uh, more day-to-day -day games that you play. Um, so it's certainly a huge event and, and it comes with the prestige of obviously the World Championship title as well. So look, it's, it's, we haven't had, um, we haven't tasted that success yet um, as a New Zealand team, but we've given ourselves some opportunities as well and I guess we'd dearly love to um, give ourselves another opportunity in 2015.